I am sure you have seen these kind of images of people in space stations circling the earth. Now let me ask you a question. Why are these people floating in the air instead of standing upright on the ground? What is your answer? Let us say your child asks you this question. Why do people float in the air in space but they don't do that on earth? What would be your answer? Let me help you a little bit here. Let me make it simple by making it a multiple choice to make life easier for you. Astronauts on orbiting space station are weightless because A. There is no gravity in space and they don't weigh anything or B. Space is a vacuum and there is no gravity in a vacuum or C. Space is a vacuum and there is no air resistance in a vacuum or D. The astronauts are far from the Earth's surface at a location where gravitation has minimal effect. I will give you 10 seconds to answer this. So what is your answer? Is it A, B, C or D? Well, whichever answer you gave, it is wrong. The actual answer is none of the above. So if you got the question wrong, then you need to watch the entire video without skipping. Astronauts who are orbiting the Earth often experience sensations of weightlessness. These sensations experienced by orbiting astronauts are the same sensations experienced by anyone who has been temporarily suspended above the seat on an amusement park ride. Not only are the sensations the same for both astronauts and roller coaster riders, but the causes of these sensations of weightlessness are also the same. Unfortunately, however, many people have difficulty understanding the cause. In order to understand weightlessness, you need to understand two kinds of forces contact and non-contact forces. As you sit in a chair, you experience two forces, the force of the Earth's gravitation field pulling you downward toward the Earth and the force of the chair pushing you upward. The upward chair force is sometimes referred to as a normal force and results from the contact between the chair top and your bottom. This normal force is categorized as a contact force. Contact forces can only result from the actual touching of two interacting objects, in this case the chair and you. Examples of contact forces include frictional forces, tensional forces, normal forces, air resistance forces and applied forces. Action at a distance forces are those types of forces that result even when the two interacting objects are not in physical contact with each other. Yet are able to exert a push or pull despite their physical separation. Examples of action at a distance forces include gravitational force. For example, the sun and the planets exert a gravitational pull on each other despite their large spatial separation. Electric forces are action at a distance forces too. For example, the protons in the nucleus of an atom and the electrons outside the nucleus experience an electrical pull towards each other despite their small spatial separation. Magnetic forces are action at a distance forces. For example, two magnets can exert a magnetic pull on each other even when separated by a distance of a few centimeters. Hence, the force of gravity acting upon your body is not a contact force. It is often categorized as an action at a distance force. The force of gravity is the result of your center of mass and the Earth's center of mass exerting a mutual pull on each other. The force of gravity does not require that the two interacting objects, that is, your body and the Earth make physical contact. It can act over a distance through space. Since the force of gravity is not a contact force, it cannot be felt through contact. You can never feel the force of gravity pulling upon your body in the same way that you would feel a contact force. If you slide across a road, which is not recommended by the way, you would feel the force of action which is a contact force. 
if you are pushed by someone during a fight you would feel the applied force again a contact force if you swing from a rope in gym or from trees in case you are tarzan you would feel the tension force another contact force if you sit in a chair you feel the normal force which is again a contact force but if you are jumping on a trampoline even while moving through the air you do not feel the earth pulling upon you with the force of gravity the force of gravity can never be felt yet those forces that results from contact can be felt and in the case of sitting in your chair you can feel the chair's force and it is this force that provides you with a sensation of weight since the upward normal force would equal the downward force of gravity when at rest the strength of this normal force gives one measure of the amount of gravitational pull if there were no upward normal force acting upon your body you would have had no sensation of your weight without the contact force there is no means of feeling the non contact force now if the chair exerted less upward force than gravity for example if the chair is broken you would be pulled down by gravity which would be a bigger force than and you will fall flat on your behind now what is weightlessness weightlessness is simply a sensation experienced by an individual when there are no external objects touching one's body and exerting a push or a pull upon it weightless sensations exist when all contact forces are removed these sensations are common to any situation in which you are in a state of free fall when in free fall the only force acting upon your body is the force of gravity a non contact force since the force of gravity cannot be felt without any other opposing forces you would have no sensation of it you would feel weightless when in a state of free fall these feeling of weightlessness are common at amusement parks for riders of roller coasters and other rides in which riders are momentarily airborne and lifted out of their seats suppose you were lifted in your chair to the top of a very high tower and then your chair was suddenly dropped as you and your chair fall towards the ground both accelerate at the same rate g since chair is falling at the same rate as you it is unable to push upon you the force of gravity is the only force acting upon your body there are no external objects touching your body and exerting a force as such you would experience a weightless sensation you would weigh as much as you always do yet you would not have any sensation of this weight the same thing would happen if you are in a lift and the chain of the lift breaks you would experience free fall earth orbiting astronauts are weightless for the same reasons that riders of free falling amusement park ride or free falling elevator are weightless they are weightless because there is no external contact force pushing or pulling upon their body in each case gravity is the only force acting upon their body being an action at a distance force it cannot be felt and therefore would not provide any sensation of their weight in fact if it were not for the force of gravity the astronauts would not be orbiting in a circular motion it is the force of gravity that supplies the centripetal force to allow the spacecraft to be in a circular motion the force of gravity is the only force acting upon their body the astronauts are actually in a state of free fall like the falling amusement park rider and the falling elevator rider the astronauts and their surroundings are falling towards the earth under the sole influence of gravity the astronauts and all their surroundings the space station with its contents are falling towards the earth without colliding into it many people believe that orbiting astronauts are flying inside the spacecraft because they don't experience a force of gravity if a person believes that the absence of gravity is the cause of their weightlessness then think of why astronauts are orbiting in the first place the fact is that there must be a force of gravity in order for them to remain in orbit else they would either fly off or fall down on the earth ever thought of that one might respond to this discussion by adhering to a second misconception the astronauts are weightless because the force of gravity is reduced in space 
The reasoning goes as follows. With less gravity, there would be less weight and thus they would feel less than their normal weight. You may have heard that you weigh one-sixth of what you weigh on Earth if you went to the moon. That is because the gravity of the moon is one-sixth that of Earth. But can you apply the same reasoning here? The force of gravity acting upon an astronaut on the space station is certainly less than on Earth's surface. But how much less? Let us use Newton's gravity equation and see how much. The equation is gravitational force F is equal to G times mm by r square, where capital M and small m are the masses of the two objects and r is the distance between their center of masses and g is the gravitational constant which doesn't change at all. So for a person standing on the surface, f will be the mass of earth multiplied by the person's mass divided by the radius of the earth, approximately 6400 kilometers. Now the space station orbits at a distance of 400 kilometers from the Earth's surface. So here the masses don't change. Capital M and small m are the same, but the distance increases. It becomes 6400 plus 400 which is 6800. Now since the top part of the equation is the same in both the cases, we can replace it with the letter k. So now the equation Fe that is gravity at Earth divided by FO which is gravity at orbit becomes Fe by FO is equals to Re square by Ro square which is 6400 square by 6800 squared which is a mere 11%. That means that for a person in the spacecraft there is just a reduction of 11% in the gravitational pull of the earth and he experiences a whopping 89% of the pull still. So to say that they don't experience gravity or they experience very less gravity is a wrong argument. Still other people believe that weightlessness is due to the absence of air in space. Their misconception lies in the idea that there is no force of gravity when there is no air. According to them, gravity does not exist in a vacuum. But this is not the case. Gravity is a force that acts between the Earth's mass and the mass of other objects that surround it. The force of gravity can act across large distances and its effect can even penetrate across and into the vacuum of outer space. Perhaps students who own this misconception are confusing the force of gravity with air pressure. Air pressure is the result of surrounding air particles pressing upon the surface of an object in equal amounts from all directions. The force of gravity is not affected by air pressure. While air pressure reduces to zero in a location void of air, the force of gravity does not become zero. Indeed, the presence of a vacuum results in the absence of air assistance, but this would not account for the weightless sensations. Remember, even Pluto, which is around 50 times the distance from the Sun than we are, experienced the effect of the Sun's gravity and hence doesn't leave its orbit. So to conclude, astronauts merely feel weightless because there is no external contact force pushing or pulling upon their body. They are in a state of free fall. Their absolutely weightless sensations are the result of having the floor pulled out from under them as they are free falling towards the earth. I hope I have cleared yet another misconception if you had of why astronauts float in space. If you like this video, please click on the like button to let me know. And please do share this with your friends and family in order for them to gain this knowledge. Until next time, it's bye bye from Pale Blue Thoughts.